Hello, you fantastic people. I am your friend, Kevin. Welcome, welcome, welcome to all of you. This is your divine inspiration message for today. All right, my friends, so we are in a angel numerology number eight day, which is about abundance, prosperity, and I would say if you're not really feeling it, you're not really in that mode, you're thinking poverty consciousness, then it's certainly a day to put your mind on how you make money, where the money's coming from, but see it, feel it, believe it, work with the tarot card, the king of pentacles, king of coins, king of earth, wherever uh, whatever deck you're using, and then bring in the angels, uh, Archangel Ariel, Jophiel. Um, you know, imagine the planet of Jupiter expanding just for you today. Uh, the choice is made in a number eight energetic day are favorable for your prayers to be answered, for success, for insightfulness, for ideas. Um, but of course, any idea that we get that is to turn into something uh, like a financial business proposal does take some action. So perhaps you think of ways to make your glorious ideas manifest themselves. My isms are, I have wonderful work in a wonderful way. I give wonderful services for wonderful pay. And this comes from Florence um, Scovel Shin. That's who said it. Um, I am an instrument of love and healing. You can add on, I'm an instrument of abundance. I am an instrument of prosperity. This I know myself to be. Uh, you could say I'm an instrument of miracles. Whatever you are an instrument for, believe it. I am creating, I am attracting, and I am manifesting. So everything starts with a creative thought. That creative thought creates a vibration. That vibration either lifts you or lowers you, but hopefully it lifts you. And the lifted vibration then creates another thought, creative thought, with another attracting vibration and another way to manifest. It's all linked to you and your energy, not the lack of. Um, our uh, moon for today is in Virgo. The moon moves into the sign of Virgo and gives us our monthly reminder that getting our lives in order actually makes our lives happier. So take some time to get organized. Um, Virgo is the sign of this organization, um, you know, putting things, well, basically in order. My happier me affirmation is, ooh, excuse me, I'm sorry, yawning in your ear. I allow myself to love who I am. <sighs> not who I think I should be. That's a powerful one. Now, I will tell you this. I went through the deck because some of them seemed repetitious. So I asked the, the fairies, could you show me one that would land better? And they showed me this one. If you take away all the who should I be, what is left? You start hearing the silence, the present and you receive a gift, peace of mind. Love and embrace who you are right at this very moment. So who are you? The Lady Venus has been with us all week, activating our light, calling us to action, giving us the necessary power surge to go about Earth's mission of healing going about Earth's mission, mission of giving back, going about Earth's mission of anchoring the light. 
showing where we can be more philanthropic, showing where we could be more supportive, even if it's just a word, even if it's just a, a gift of your presence to listen, to be in the silence. And perhaps you have many friends or one friend or a special person who is really looking for your guidance, looking for your presence, looking for your company. Uh, the Earth Mother says you know how to evolve. So we are in evolution. And sometimes those evolutionary acts pop up when they're meant to pop up and we instantly know what we need to do, how we need to act, what we need to take next to get there. And I think we've been prepared for the last few years at least to learn how to think on our feet, to learn what instructions are we getting from other people, what instructions are we getting from ourselves, what instructions are coming from divine intervention or divine inspiration, and what instruction makes absolutely no sense at all, no logical sense, no emotional sense, no spiritual sense, those are the ones we discard. Or I like to find fun with those ones because it's like, well, this is so ridiculous. Let me just giggle at it. Take the soul-led steps. Oh, it says here, your activation is, I take the soul-led steps I need in order to heal and grow. We are all about healing. We're all about growing. Every autumn, if you live in a home with a yard, as I do, it's time to get the garden ready so that spring has some fresh dirt or some fresh places to grow from even that means putting some bulbs in the ground maybe if you have a balcony you go get some container pots and you put some good dirt in them and you pop your uh, bulbs in the container pot and then you know go water them every other day maybe Give him a bit of food. Gertrude, Beatrice, where are you? Well, now I'm, I'm seeing like this little vista on a hill and I am seeing some plants that they're putting out. Um, they're saying get creative. Oh, they, oh, Gertrude wants me to keep shuffling. Oh, I'm going to show you something in a minute uh, that came yesterday in the mail. It's wonderful. Let me show you now because I'm going to forget otherwise. My friend, our friend of the channel, Vicky Loper, uh, the healing artist on, um, you have to look up her name, V-I-C-K-I-L-O-P-E-R. Um, the healing artist is her YouTube channel. And you can probably look her up on the internet and find her email uh, and her contact information. But this is what she came up with for Beatrice. And I think this is pretty accurate. Beatrice over here with her pink magical light. She almost has that, well, they don't call them fur collars, but it's a bit like she had some feathers that she dip dyed in some kind of pink flowers, maybe rose. And then on the other side, oh, it's blue. And our wings are pink. We've got some gold going on. I just love this image. Um, she's kind of the stoic fairy, the one that's sort of like still fun, but let's be honest and let's get on with um, things properly, bringing us wisdom, bringing us light. Now, fairies are known to be pretty playful. So, Let's not mistake the fact that, you know, Beatrice is not necessarily all business. She does have a good time with her friend Gertrude. Well, it's like a twin soul. It's like the two of them inside one. Where there's one, there's the other. And one, Gertrude would most definitely get you into mischief. But Gertrude is the one that, oh, if, she, if there is, it will be right in the middle of something crazy. Here she is. 
Beatrice, not so much. She might come along and say, yeah, no, you don't want to follow that one. You just want to be a bit more careful. I'm going to fan out these cards and you're going to have to pick which one you want me to choose. Well, okay. I want to push it back. This one? Yes. Okay. Let's see what that one says. Come back in the deck. Uh -uh. This is a new deck for me. I um, spent time shuffling, getting to know it last weekend uh, before I brought it out. And it does challenge me, but I like the challenge. Oh, the five of water. Well, actually works with cups. It's the emotional card. And what I love about this is the heartfelt center. You see right in the middle is a heart. And then we have a seahorse right there. And we've got our mermaid, which doesn't necessarily have a tail, but she's emerging from a shell like a conch shell. And basically, I think that's kind of where she lives, in her shell. And the five of water is really suggesting to me, through this image, that the change, she's emerging, escaping, and I'd say she's bringing freedom to her heart and to her emotions. She is expressing herself in new and abundant ways. And if I am honest with the image of this card, right above her head would be the light shining down on the ocean, beckoning, beckoning her to come out from underneath the shell to emerge into the light that's above the surface. Um... I just think this is a lovely, wonderful, fun card. Now, let's see what the description is. The Five of Water. Releasing grief. Allowing sadness to rise and fall. Forgiveness and the ebb and flow of your emotions. And the little poem that goes along with this is I feel the fullness of my emotions as they wash through me. The ebb and flow are part of life and I am present in my feelings today. I fully forgive myself and others and let go of any emotions that were holding me back from acknowledging the truth. I deserve the freedom that comes when I release what is no longer working for me. I make amends to those I may have harmed. And when emotions were coloring my perceptions, I release again. I surrender any resentments to the divine, knowing they can tra be transformed into a miracle. Fearless inventories lead to liberation. I like that. Fearless inventories lead to um, liberation. Now, this links into taking away who you, who I should be. And what's left is the silence and the peace of mind. Releasing resentments, letting go of the stuck stuff, scrubbing off the tartar in our heart allows the light from Lady Venus and the Venusians to be activated, to lift up. And the Earth Mother with the um, taking the soul-led steps to grow but without healing, being an instrument of love. Do you see how all this is working? You see how all this energy from a number eight day, from the isms, from they just get picked up, chosen, and the divine inspiration puts them into perspective. Organizing what do I need to discard? How do I need to acknowledge what goes on? Who do I need to heal from? Actually, I don't know. 
that we need to heal from anyone in particular. You just may need to acknowledge where you have been harsh. You may need to acknowledge where this is not my true nature to be judgmental, to be um, um, accusatory. It, it probably isn't in your nature yet. Part of the human experience, part of the human conditioning is that there's got to be the yin and the yang. There has to be. There has to be the lift and the drop. I know I am. I don't like the word guilty, but I am, um, um, I hold my hand up, there you go, to sometimes not being as integrous as I perhaps should be. What I know for sure hand on heart is it is getting much easier, the quicker and the faster I can release it and let it go. What I now know is that there's a reaction that happens when I'm not in integrity, when I'm not standing in my truth, when I'm not practicing the four agreements, Don Miguel Ruiz, when I'm not doing this every day, this woo will work with you. When I'm not sitting here saying, okay, spirit, what do you want me to do? When I'm not getting my, um, which is supposed to be a, a, an exercise book, but it became um, a gratitude journal every single day. I start off and I put the date down, add it up to get the number, and then start, what am I grateful for? Who am I grateful for? You know, what happened? What's going to happen? And typically, I like to start off on the right foot by saying, I'm grateful for the day that's ahead. I'm grateful for manifesting the miracles that are coming. I'm grateful for being able to tell the difference between what's working and what's not working. All right, my friends, that's it for now. Um... I can't think, I'm trying to think, is there anything else that the two want to say? Nope, they're saying it's all very good. Just go out and create something for yourself today. Even if it's just writing something, a poem, reading something. Get into something creative that allows you to go inward. All right, my friends, till tomorrow. Big love. Thanks so much. Bye for now. Hey everybody, we hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe and share it with all your friends. Uh, here's a QR code if you decide you'd like to get a private personal reading with me. I'm available most evenings and on the weekends. Just go over to the website, book in what session, 30 minutes, 60 minutes uh, and then fill in the contact information and I'll be back in touch. And if you feel kind enough, here is a link to my donation button. Energy exchange of any amount is always gratefully received. Until next time, be well, be blessed, and thanks so much for watching. Bye.